Good morning. So this morning I wanted to um, connect in with what happens when something gets sprung on you out of the blue. So when you're in a relationship with someone, whether it's intimate or friendship or family or whatever it is, and somebody is holding on to something that they don't know how to say it to you, how to deliver it to you, how to handle it, they hold on to it for a very long time. And what that means is that that's something that they're holding on to is getting more charged and more charged and more charged. The more that they're thinking about it, it's kind of like um, fermenting in their body and then it's irritating them because everything around that something is highlighted to them, especially when that something is in their face, that's something that they're holding on to, or it's a very close or intimate relationship, let's call it that, or a family relationship, then you're just going about your life and you're just doing your thing and you're kind of um, in your zone and you're doing life. And then all of a sudden, this something is sprung on you out of the blue. So when that something is sprung on you, then all of a sudden, just the springing effect of that actually coming over and then landing in your body, the intensity of that, of how long that person has been holding onto it actually impacts your body. So in that moment, there's this sensation of, oh shit, or jump, or get out of the way, or defend, it rattles you. It's like a whole piece of information that that, um, we haven't even had the time to deal with. So there's a reactionary response that happens. So in that reactionary response, we're having a reaction within ourselves. And then whether we can handle that reaction or not, then depends how much we jump out of ourselves to get it out of our body, to give it to someone else because we're feeling unstable because it's shook us. Yeah. It's given us a shaking so that we can reestablish where we stand in the world and what our next step forward is, how we act from that information that's just dropped into our body. So then if we choose to actually call in other resources or we go to our mum and dad or we go to our support network or we go to our partner, then all of a sudden that diluted version of that was information that was given to you goes to that person depending on how close they are to you will depend on how diluted it is. And then that person then either holds it or jumps into action or gives you information or their opinion or their feedback about what the next step is for you to do. Every time you pull in more people or more opinions, you're actually then having to handle and deal with more information and more people is coming into your environment or into your body, if that makes sense too. And then you have to filter what is the best decision. So there are times that you need that more information and you need that opinion because it's a situation that you actually need somebody's assistance, some, somebody's help. But there gets a point in your life where you have to go, okay, I just need to sit in that for a moment. I just need to take a moment. I need to feel the discomfort of it. I need to feel my my want and my need to jump out of my body and go and ask for assistance or help. And I need to keep listening and keep listening and keep landing. Because essentially what's happening is as we keep listening and as we keep landing, our body is actually integrating the shock, it's integrating the response and it's bringing it to a level where we're getting more information and things are starting to drop in about our reality where we can actually make a more grounded step or a step that comes not from shock or not from defence but a step that can come from, oh, I understand where you're coming from. I'm not just going to react to it. I understand where you're coming from. Okay. And then I look at myself. Okay, I understand why they weren't able to bring that to my attention. Okay, good. All right, now I can make a decision and now I can step forward. So what I've learned over time is that (laughs) 
here. I used to, in the past, pull in my mum and dad when I was young. And then when they weren't available, I would pull in my boyfriend or my close friends. And then I would chew on it or feel into it. And then it would be a combination of mine and their energy and their opinion. And then over time, I would then choose other people, the people that I thought were good for the opinion. Yeah, the therapist or the psychologist. And then it got to the point where I went, okay, so my parents are much older now. I can't just keep leaning on my partner. Um, that friendship is now drained and waned because I've been leaning on them for too long. I have to actually start to feel into my history and my information within myself and feel the discomfort of what I've just received. And then sit in it and be okay with it and realize that by doing that, that my body is actually making the network inside myself to be able to take a step and to be able to handle it. Yeah. And then I'm okay again because it's just like a, a reaction, if that makes sense. I hope you were able to stay with me on that in that <laughs> description of um, energy and maybe apply your own story to it without me giving you too much of the actual story, which is irrelevant, really. Okay, see ya. Bye.